Yeah, g'day, uh, ZL2, Charlie Tang and Mike again. Um, just thought I'd show the uh, the next project I'm looking at working on. It's um, It's got to be a software-defined radio. And uh, I've just got up there um, SDR Sharp, which is um, currently do the de doing the demodulation. So I'll just, uh, I'll just mute that. And what I'm using for a front end is a uh, essentially a couple of direct conversion receivers. So I've got RF coming in here. Uh, it's going through a bandpass filter, which is currently on the uh, the 80 meter band, through an RF amplifier, um, and then it's being split into uh, into two mixes, two SBL1 mixes. Uh, the VFO for that is coming from an SI 5351. Um, the output of that is four times the desired frequency. Goes through the uh, the splitter, which basically creates two local oscillator signals um, 90 degrees out of phase, so you're in phase and your quadrature. Then those are going to each of the two SBL1s. And then the output is audio um, through a, um, a simple uh, low pass filter and then off to the sound card of the computer. So I just wanted to confirm that the front end is working using the commercial software. And then um, I'll do the development on on this. This is a, uh, a Teensy uh, microcontroller it uses an ARM Cortex chip. Um, I've used these before, the slightly earlier version, uh, again an ARM Cortex chip but um, not quite as powerful. But this is the newest one and uh, if I can just recall, it comes from um, a supply called PJRC, um, Paul, and uh, he's done a fantastic job creating these things. Very, very powerful. And uh, in this particular case, we've got the microcontroller, and sitting underneath it is an audio board, which allows you to bring in, uh, either through the headers, um, or the output here, um, audio in. You can do all the, uh, the digital signal processing on the chip, and then spit it back out again. So that's going to be the next project, is, is basically from first principles, um, developing a software-defined radio using, um, using this particular board here. Uh, it'll be C++ and uh, yeah, it should be good. Just a uh, another project to sort of get my head around that. Um, did a little bit a while back, um, sort of just sort of wetting the appetite. So anyway, I'll keep posted. Um, if people think that's uh, useful or interesting, please um, say the word. And uh, like I say, as I um, get the sort of the modules going within the software code, we can um, we can talk about that on future videos. Like I say, just got the front end going now, so this here will now be fed um, essentially into these two pins, or these three pins here, earth and the left and right uh, line in. Then I can do all the number crunching in there. Anyway, uh, that's just a quick update on the next project, and uh, I shall keep you posted. Anyway, thanks so much. Ted 2 Charlie, Tango Mike.